Hi, this presentation briefly reviews the key concepts and main achievements of our latest conference proceeding titled Utility of 2D Finite Element Simulation for Predicting Effective Thermomechanical Properties of Particle Reinforced Composites. This research will be presented in IMAKI 2018 conference in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In the present work, we have inspected the accuracy and applicability of 2D finite element simulations for simultaneous prediction of certain thermomechanical properties that have importance in thermal shock resistance of refractories, namely elastic properties, coefficient of thermal expansion or CTE, and thermal conductivity. To achieve this goal, we initially created 2D representative volume elements, or RVEs, for the three types of composites that were introduced in our previous publication, namely CS, CZ, and CSZ. These RVEs are created using random sequential absorption, or RSA, algorithm. Afterwards, boundary conditions are applied and effective properties are measured. Next. Adequacy of the RVEs are statistically examined with respect to their volume fractions as well as their sizes, the two factors that determine the reliability of the predicted properties. Finally, the results of these simulations are compared to predictions made by well-established schemes and, if available, to experimental findings. Here is how we implement RSA algorithm to generate periodic microstructure. Assume 9 adjacent identical squares in the xy plane. We take the one in the middle and consider it to be the RVE. If one particle is added to the RVE, similar sister particles must be assumed in adjacent squares. Other non-overlapping particles and their sisters can then be added to the system, and only the particles that are in contact with the RVE are plotted. Finally, the geometry is trimmed from this yellow dashed line which leaves us with a periodic microstructure. We used Python programming language in conjunction with the commercially available finite element code Simulia Abacus to create RVEs. Here's the breakdown of a sample RVE which represents the composite type CSZ. We start by creating solid silicon carbide inclusions. Then zirconia bubbles, which are hollow inside, are added and afterwards, solid zirconia particles are inserted. Finally, we create the matrix which encompasses all particles, and this leaves us with the periodic RVE. Notice that the position as well as the outer diameter of all particles are randomly selected within given ranges. Also notice that we have three groups of inclusions inside this RVE, which can have different material properties, different size distributions, and different inner to outer diameter ratios. For measuring elastic properties, periodic boundary condition or PBC is applied to the RVE using Python programming. For this purpose, two dummy nodes are defined on the top and right side of the RVE. Next, the nodes on the left and right side of the RVE are connected to the right dummy node through this set of constraint equations. Similarly, the nodes on the top and bottom side of the RVE are connected to the top dummy node. As a result of these constraints, once any displacement is applied to the dummy nodes, the RVE will deform periodically. For measuring CTE, symmetric boundary condition or SBC is implemented for which the following set of equations are applied between the nodes on the left and right side of the RVE and the following set of equations are applied between the nodes on the top and bottom side of the RVE. Consequently, once the temperature of the RVE is changed, the microstructure will deform symmetrically. Finally, for measuring thermal conductivity, a constant temperature gradient is applied between the top and bottom sides of the RVE, while the left and right sides remain insulated. To calculate elastic modulus, we first perform a compression analysis, which gives us the stress-to-strain ratio, and then we perform a shear analysis, which provides the shear modulus. Then we use the two 
in this equation to find the elastic modulus. The derivation for this equation is provided in the paper. To calculate coefficient of thermal expansion, we apply a uniform temperature change to the RVE, extract the relative displacement of the nodes, and use this formula to calculate the effective CTE. To calculate thermal conductivity, the heat flux in y direction is measured, and Fourier's equation is implemented to find the effective thermal conductivity. These simulations are performed for the three types of composites, titled CS, CZ, and CSZ. For each type, we create five realizations, which gives us a total of 15 realizations. Statistical analysis showed that the finite element simulations accurately represented volume fraction of the constituents in each composite type. The average and standard error for the volume fraction of each constituent is provided in this table for all three composite types. Next, we ascertain the adequacy of the RVE size for predicting various thermomechanical properties. For this purpose, the chi-squared values are calculated according to the procedure suggested by Gitman et al. It was found that except for thermal conductivity of CS and CSZ, our realizations provide a reliable estimation of the effective properties within 95% confidence interval. For thermal conductivity of the CS and CSZ, the results remain in 90% confidence interval. Predictions made by the finite element simulations are compared to the predictions made by well-known schemes. The following are the schemes used for prediction of the effective properties of particle reinforced composites. Composite sphere scheme used for calculating effective bulk modulus. Generalized self-consistent scheme used for calculating effective elastic modulus. This scheme comprises eight equations that need to be solved simultaneously, only two of which are shown here. Levin's method for calculating effective coefficient of thermal expansion. And finally, hashing strickman method for calculating effective thermal conductivity. For predicting effective properties of equivalent fiber reinforced composites, the following schemes are implemented. Hashing method used for calculating effective bulk modulus. Generalized self-consistent scheme used for calculating effective elastic modulus. This method comprises seven equations that need to be solved concurrently, only two of which are presented here. To find effective transverse coefficient of thermal expansion, five equations must be solved simultaneously, one of which is presented here. Finally, hashing method for calculating effective thermal conductivity is implemented. We develop MATLAB codes to use these schemes iteratively for homogenization of composites with more than one type of inclusion. Finally, predictions of the 2D finite element simulations are compared to predictions of the schemes for particle reinforced and fiber reinforced composites. For the cases that experimental measurements were available from our previous study, those measurements were also assimilated. This comprehensive comparison, as well as other statistical analyses, led to multiple interesting conclusions, some of which are described here. 2D FE simulations may not represent effective elastic properties of such particle reinforced composites with sufficient accuracy. The mismatch between the elastic properties of the matrix and inclusions, as well as existence of cavity inside the inclusions, are two factors that significantly influence the difference between the predictions of 2D FEM and fiber GSCS. 2D FE simulations represent effective CTE of such particle reinforced composites with sufficient accuracy. To achieve similar accuracy for 2D FE prediction of thermal conductivity compared to other properties, often RVEs with larger sizes are required. This is predictable given the type of boundary conditions applied to these analyses. In the near future, we will look at the application of 3D finite element simulations for prediction of these effective properties. In order to receive updates regarding this and other works, please subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow the ResearchGate account linked in the description. Thank you very much for your attention and please share your comments and questions.